Hey man, let's, let's talk about expectations for the second season because All Star Break is done. Let's get right into the second season, uh, second half of the season because this is where everyone's going to be locked in and going to play for the playoffs. Then that's what we want to see, especially from the Toronto Raptors. We want to see them in the Eastern Conference Finals again. I like that. I like that. Absolutely. And we'll, so let's go start straight up to it, right? Who do you guys think will be the the um, the second half MVP? Who's going to play the best basketball? From here till the end of the I season. Still, I still think Russell Westbrook is still going to play as as hard as, as he can, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. So, Maybe James Harden and cool. the Rockets, they could pull it off, and James Harden might be able to win MVP as well. So he, he could carry his team to the uh, good a good seed in the, in the in, Western Conference. The, I, I feel in the end of the season, I think Rockets are going to have a better record than the... Oklahoma City? Uh, in the Oklahoma City. So that's going to give a nod more to James Harden that's gonna really going to get that MVP. Right. Depending on what Depending. he does. Exactly. Yeah. So I see that. How mm -hmm. about um, let's go straight up to the the playoff round? Who, uh, or I guess I could go straight to the team. Who do you think will be the best team from here on? Who's gonna play the best basketball from here till the end of the season? Um, uh, that's. I think Cleveland. That's Cleveland will be without with without K -Love, love. Do you think that they're gonna play their best? Or do you have a, a theme that's just? Desperate right now, that really wants to win. Do you guys, you know, like the Raptors? Do you guys it's think that the Raptors will play the best the Raptors. basketball? Raptors? You want to say Raptors? Yeah, I'm gonna say Raptors. Just because of the trade? Because we have yet to see what happens with Ibaka and what can they do? It's it's it's, it's hard. They it's do, unpredictable, but right? But they do yeah. have high. Ex we do have high expectations from them just because they have Ibaka. They have the so-called what people are saying the big three in the Raptors now, the Kyle Lowry, Demar Rosen, and, and, and Ibaka. So, I mean, and plus, Patrick Patterson will come back. Norman Powell could step up his game. They have a good bench. DeLon, really DeLon Wright it. can still, uh, what he did uh, a few weeks ago against Charlotte with him, Corey Joseph, and Kyle Lowry playing on the same, um, on, the, on the court together. Rotation in a sense. Yeah, that could probably, they're probably going to step up. Um, Boston Celtics, they could continue uh, being dominant and be, uh, one of the top three teams in the East, and maybe Cleveland, because you never know. Cleveland and LeBron, uh, LeBron and Kyrie, when they, when they know it's the second half of the season and they want to go for the playoffs and want to go back to back championships, they'll they'll turn on they'll turn on their motor and like they'll keep going, especially if Kevin Love is out. The only thing I hope for is that, um, well, LeBron knows his body very well. I'm just hoping that no more injury would happen because if you uh, I noticed with Kyrie's uh, injury history. You do play him at a certain amount, and you do kind of you do ride him up. But I'm just worried that what will happen, like what happened a few years back when he had his injury in the first round of the finals against the, you know, if he didn't got injured, it would have been a really good fight for them, right? So the only thing that worries me is LeBron's minutes and Kyrie's minutes with K-Love out, right? So last thing, are our teams that are gonna make on the East? Let's go quickly. Who is going to make that 7-8 spot in the East? Because it's very, very clustered right now. Um, we have a couple of teams like Charlotte Hornets right there trying to make it. The Milwaukee Bucks is right there. Um, we have some really good teams like Detroit. Who do you think is you know, one of the top oh, teams that could uh, you know, fight for it and really make it to the 8? I'll say Milwaukee for me. Milwaukee? Giannis. Yeah, Giannis. Just, I think Middleton makes a big difference coming back. I know they lost Jabari Parker. They could have. really sucks. With Jabari, him, uh, Jabari, Giannis, and Middleton, they would have been like a straight up top team. But now I think that they have a still a good chance and they're going to ride it out yeah, with, with Giannis. If, if you think about it, like, because I, I, I was going to say Detroit, but how, what they're, what's happening now, I feel like they're going to probably tank and then they're not going to make it. They might just be the, like ninth, ninth or 10th in the Eastern Conference and Milwaukee might steal their spot. Charlotte, Charlotte could steal their spot as well. Um, Atlanta might be dropping, but who knows? They're still, they're still going to play it. I think Milwaukee's going to be a lock, yeah, probably. I, I think so, too. How about the West? Let's go quickly to end it off. Who do you think is going to make that 7-8 spot right there? Because it's a cluster as well. We have Denver Nugget right there. We got, um, who else do we have? Sacramento Kings is fighting for that spot. We got Timberwolves right there that are trying to clinch that spot. Uh, not really, Timberwolves. So, I think Timberwolves actually has a great chance right now. I know they lost Levine, but Towns Utah and Utah Jazz. But Utah Jazz is right on the top already. They're automatic. Are actually, they top five? The, from one to six is automatic. There's a big gap to from six to seven. So the seven and eight spot is clustered with 
uh, with Sacramento, with Denver Nuggets. Dallas. You got Dallas, Phoenix is right, uh, no, Phoenix is far back, no, no, but we got Phoenix. Dallas is coming in, <laughs> and we have Timberwolves that's still right up that alley, and New Orleans Pelicans. So I'd who do you guys feel making that spot? I, 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 say, I say Dallas. Dallas is a veteran team, right? And I, Sacramento has a really good chance as well, so I do agree. I'm going to go for my Wolves because I think Levine, even though Levine is out, Wiggins and Towns are finally figuring out how to play with each other. Yeah. Right? That could happen. 